Hey guys, gals, and non-binary pals, it's Jez. And welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to film this video. I've been dropping hints about it in all my past videos. So as you can tell, I've been planning this video for over a month. If you can read the title, this is my dream wardrobe haul, but I don't know if you've seen those videos circulating around, circulating around, of people making their own dream wardrobe hauls, but they also make it into two parts, which is them buying the clothes and then showing it. And I didn't buy these clothes all in one sitting. Like I bought this throughout January on different days and stuff. And I just thought that would be boring to film also. Like, why am I going to show you guys what I'm buying when I'm going to show you the haul after? I might as well just show you the haul, am I right? And since this is a month's worth of collective haul type thing, it's very expensive. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. It's around, I'm going to take a guesstimate. It's either, it's probably more than $500. I have been saving up money just so I could make this haul because I wanted to do this since I started YouTube like a whole dream wardrobe haul because I know it'd be really fun to film. I'm also filming this on Valentine's Day, which makes this video even more special. And I don't have a Valentine, but you guys can all be my Valentine if you want to, if you don't already have a Valentine. I even dressed up in Valentine's Day colors. I wasn't going to, I was actually going to wear black, but then I thought I should be a little more uplifting, upspirited. So yeah, and the makeup and the matching necklaces, you know? There's going to be a lot of brands that maybe a lot of you guys haven't heard of before because they aren't from America, but they're super good and they're like semi-popular, but they're not up there yet and I want them to be like well-known because they're so good. And yeah, we'll get more into it into the video. Okay, without further ado, let's just get into the haul. I've actually styled 90% of these clothes in this haul already. If you guys want to check that out, it's styled on my TikTok and my Instagram, and then I also posted those outfits on my Pinterest. They are all the same username, so go ahead and check them out if you want to because I usually post more styling videos on my TikTok anyways, and then some outfit pictures on my Instagram. And also if you wanna see what my whole inspo for this haul was anyways, then also look at my Pinterest boards. I have a whole outfit inspo board. Okay, so I have a like pile of clothes in front of me. So I'm just gonna pick up whatever's on top of the pile and then show it to you guys. Also, this is a try on haul, so don't worry. And I should mention that everything uh, that's in this haul will obviously be linked down below for you guys if you wanna go and purchase it as well okay so first i have this brown zip up hoodie and it's actually merch for this singer and her name is stephanie colvin you guys should totally check her out i'll put her spotify down below and i'll put her name right here on her instagram and i really like her songs but i really also like her merch <laughs> so on the front it says steph right here and then on the back of the hoodie it's like the coolest design ever and it's just this fairy detailing and then there's like pink and blue other doodles and stuff i don't know it's just a whole doodle thing and this is for her new song that just came out last week or this week i mean it says i spent my time building dreams flying through fantasies it's a really cute song very love song it's like perfect for valentine's day so yeah i got this hoodie Next, you guys have probably already seen this if you've watched my decorate with me video, the second one. And it's just this Hello Kitty hoodie right here, but it is rhinestones. And it's a stitch hoodie because like Hello Kitty has a <laughs> stitch in her face. Yeah, I don't know, she's she's going wild these days. This is from Shop Zulema, Zulema, I think it's Zulema. And yeah, they're a small business. You guys should totally check them out. They have really cool clothes. And this is like my second thing I bought from them, or third. The next pieces of clothing I'm gonna be showing you guys is from Brandy Melville. Don't get mad, okay? I don't like Brandy Melville at all, but I haven't bought from Brandy Melville since May of 2020. I really stayed away from that brand. And there are just some things that I really wanted. It's been, I don't support them. Okay, these are just a few things, so don't get mad. So I just really wanted some colored turtlenecks and Brandy Melville has like nice thick turtlenecks, so I just caved in and bought it. So first I got this sage green turtleneck. It's so pretty and like, I mainly got this so I could layer with other things. Yeah, this is more of a layering piece. And then I got the same turtleneck in brown 
because yeah brown turtlenecks are super cute to layer with also next from brandy melville i got low rise light wash jeans because i kind of got tired of high-waisted jeans i felt like they made me look so boxy and since i already don't have anything i'm like flat no curves you know so i just wanted low-waisted jeans because it would just look better also i liked how low-waisted feels better on me so yeah i got this one in light washed i think these are called the sophie jeans also brandy melville jeans are super long they're like made for people who are five seven and i'm not five seven i'm five one so i have to like fold the bottoms of the jeans but i'm probably gonna get them tailored one day next i got these jeans i think these are called the brielle jeans it's a darker wash than the other jeans i just showed and it's like so much wider like the bottoms of the pants are wider and yeah this is really baggy and i'm probably gonna get this tailored too one day lastly these are my favorite jeans by far they're so comfy and like so soft it's these agatha pants this was all over pinterest so i thought that i had to get them and it's just this super cute low-waisted black pants and there's like pockets on the side and then like two buttons on the front but yeah the, i don't know what to describe the fabric as but it's so nice and soft and it just feels nice i don't know and i did style this on my most recent picture on my val on valentine's day that i posted today so if you guys want to go check that out i'm definitely going to be styling this more with so many more things so stay tuned as I said, I'm going to keep mentioning it. If you want to see me style these clothes even more, TikTok and Instagram and Pinterest is where you'll find them. Next, I got this iconic t-shirt and I already wore it in my jewelry haul. And it is this tie-dye heart top from Pretty's Venice. And it's iconic because not only is it all over Pinterest, but it's also from one of my favorite movies, which is Clueless. I'm going to put a picture of her right now wearing it and Ty wearing it and yeah this is like the original like brand of who made the top so this is so freaking cute and so comfy too but really freaking expensive next i got this top from star girl co and it's like one of their best selling tops like when i bought this it sold out within five minutes so i was lucky to get my hands on this and it's called the lolo top and it's tight on the top of your like chesticle area and then it's super loose and flowy in the bottom and it's just so cute and flattering this is really like a summer type of clothing although you can of course layer it to make it winter if you wanted to and i was about to complain that the only problem is that the straps are too long so it like falls off my shoulders but i didn't even realize that the straps are adjustable so the more you know now i can adjust them and wear them comfortably also i've seen dupes of this on aliexpress and i would say that it's better to buy from the original creator because she is a small company and you know supports small businesses and like the fabric is much probably much better and the effort and time it took to put into these are much better you know Okay, this is probably one of my favorite tops that I got so far and I'm really excited to style this. And you've definitely seen this on Pinterest, I guarantee you. And it is this Why Not Us brown top. It's called the Janice top and it's in wheat. They have a black and white version too, but I wanted the brown one, of course, because brown is so pretty. And this top is so nice because it's both like loose and but still flattering in the middle because it also cinches. And I don't know, I really like this kind of tops. Like, you can still be comfortable and cute. Oh yeah, and Why Not Us is a Korean-based brand. And they have a lot of fun other outfit stuff. Like, the next brands that I'm going to be showing you guys are all Korean now. And they're literally, like, their fashion is so nice and different. You know, like, you wouldn't see this kind of stuff at PacSun, what I'm trying to say. Like, these are definitely pieces that I'm going to be keeping with me for a long time and are just worth the money okay the next brand is expired girl and they're pretty iconic too if you guys know um b doopy <laughs> i don't even know if i'm saying her name right or whatever but b and she wears a lot of their clothes so yeah so first i got this green top and it's the like i don't remember the exact name but it's like the three-way top where you like there's just a bunch of like clips okay and you can style this three ways because you can unbutton certain parts of it to make it look more flattering to your body or not 
and I really like this because not only the color is so pretty and it's super flowy too. I like that. I like the slit at the bottom that's like super flattering for your stomach. I don't know. I styled this on my Instagram too if you guys want to check that out. Super cute. Styled this with a skirt that will also be in this haul. And yeah, I don't know. I really love these tops. Okay, and then next from Expired Girl, I got this mesh top from them because mesh tops are super cool. See that all over Pinterest all the time. And it's this pastel one. They also have a darker version too. And they also have a dress version, which is reversible. So it has pastel and the dark version on both sides. That's super cool. Check that out if you want to. Anyways, if I ever like take pictures with this, I want to wear it where the background is like a colorful art wall. But yeah, I just want to take pictures with this with like art because this is like art. And I'm pretty sure they collabed with a tattoo artist to make these like designs so that's also pretty cool actually there's so much more stuff i want from expired girl like they have this olive tracksuit right here and it's on my birthday wish list it's so pretty and i like think about it i'm like where would i wear it i don't know like i just wear it around the house but it's like so pretty that i really want it so speaking of the instagram picture that i took with the green expired girl top let's just get with what the skirt was and i got this unif skirt and this is really really iconic everyone on pinterest has this skirt and it's this is the collins skirt and there's a lot of dupes for these and i always thought about buying the dupes but i never caved in and i think it's because i knew that i was going to get the original one and here it is it has like the pins here and then the slit at the bottom super freaking cute this is my first purchase ever from unif and i definitely was not disappointed and yeah i got this one it restocked i was really lucky but the downside is this skirt is super freaking short. I don't know. I think it's because I got an extra small. Also, like, sizing-wise, they have different sizing. I don't know. Like, I'm usually a small, but for Unif, I'm an extra small. And I think if I got a small, it would be way more low-waisted and longer. But yeah, this one's super short, as you can tell. But so pretty, and I can't wait to style this with, like, everything. Okay, clothing-wise, the brand that I saved for last is the brand that inspired me to get this whole haul and is actually the most expensive part of this haul. I saw their brand from an Instagram ad and like instantly fell in love and I saw how much it was so I literally saved up the whole month of December to buy this and yeah it's really worth it because these are high quality outfits and I definitely want to buy more pieces from them. Okay without further ado this is the brand Gang Young but their Instagram says We Gang Young but I'm pretty sure it's Gang Young and yeah, look how pretty this one is. First, I got this velvet uh, cardigan. It's called the bell cardigan. And so this part is velvet and then the trim or like fur trim and they're so soft. Like this whole thing is so freaking soft. I could fall asleep in it. And then there's buttons here and little wings here. This also comes with matching pants too, but I didn't want to get them because I was scared that it wasn't going to fit me lengthwise because I, as I said I am shorter but if I did wear boots I feel like it would fit me so now I'm thinking maybe I should get the pants hmm. I don't know but yeah this is super freaking cute and here's the tag at the back of their clothing right here next I got this black dress which has like pink lace trimming and then there's a sword in the middle it's so pretty and basically there's like these pink straps right here which is like the coolest part about this dress is that you can like mix and match how you want to do the straps like you can wear this three different ways i'm pretty sure and i wore this in my last video so you could basically wear it where the straps are across your chest like this like across and then they also have it where you could tie it behind you and i don't remember the rest but i also know where there's one where you can just tie it around your shoulders and stuff so this is a very versatile dress and that's why i like it that much and also the colors they also have a white version of this dress and i don't know if there's another color but i know there's a white version next i got this light green dress right here it is so pretty and then there's like it's kind of see-through in the middle and then there's like lacing and stuff and all that and this is so freaking pretty and not only is it like light green but there's stripes i don't know how to describe it that are like metallic silver that just shine and then on the back there is like a little triangle gap so it shows a little bit of your back or whatever i was thinking about maybe wearing this on my birthday that's why i got it because 
My birthday's in March and March is, you know, the green color because of St. Patrick's Day and shamrocks and all that. So I thought it'd be cute, but I don't know, maybe we'll wear it. Or also this would be so cute for like a little picnic moment. If anyone wants to go on a picnic with me, I will definitely be wearing this dress. Lastly, I got this top right here. It's harder to show, but you'll see how it actually is worn on the try-on. But it's basically like a halter top and a tank top mixed together they're like attached to each other and it's so pretty i don't know i really like this top and it's like a lot of lace and see-through on the sides and but it's still freaking pretty and i also posted an instagram picture with this on january i think like near new year's or after new year's whatever i actually got this in a medium so it is a bit looser on me i bet if i got it in a small it would fit the way i wanted it to but small was sold out so i just settled with medium it's still perfect i still love it and yeah okay we are finally down to our last item as i said that haul was freaking huge and it's taking all the breath out of me but it was worth it and the last thing I got is not a clothing item, but it is a accessory and it is this brown fur bag. This is the hide tote bag or hide bag from Lolita Jade. They're pretty well known. I heard about them when I first started buying fur bags and yeah, I really wanted a brown one and I wanted a different shape because all my fur bags are more of a square shape. So this one's a rounder shape. I thought it was so pretty. There's more bags I want from Lily Jade. They're really well made. And I definitely recommend, so. And before I get to the outro, I also want to say that I bought the Demonia's Shaker 100s. And I bought that back in November. So you guys have no idea how long I've been waiting. I pre-ordered it because it was out of stock. And it's supposed to be coming this month, but who even knows? But when that comes, definitely look out on my TikTok because I'm probably going to post an unboxing or styling it on my TikTok. Yeah, so definitely check that out. But this is what the Demonia Shaker 100s look like if you don't know. These are, they're like really epic platform boots and I really want them because I feel like I can wear them with everything. Okay, that's it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed filming it. If you did, leave a like to let me know that you did. And even if you didn't, still leave a like because you really have nothing to lose and everything to gain, which is my happiness. Leave a comment down below if you plan on purchasing any of these items or what your favorite item was from this haul or how your day was. Make sure to subscribe if you aren't already. We are a growing family. I'm going to put a chart right here of my analytics because so freaking many of you guys are watching me and aren't subscribed. So you should definitely consider subscribing because it is free and helps me out a lot. You can always unsubscribe later, though I doubt you won't really need to. And if you are subscribed, make sure that you've clicked the notification bell so you know the next time that I post, which is usually at 11.15 a.m. PST on Tuesdays. As I said, I really hope you guys like this haul because it's probably one of my most favorite haul clothing hauls ever and yeah i think that's it so i love all of you guys and i hope you all have a blessed day bye